Hi guys, it's Chris and we're back at Raptors Garage with the Mitsubishi L200. Sorry, the Land Rover Discovery. What the fuck is this? That's oh, a Jeep. Guys, we're back at Raptors Garage with a Jeep. In fact, we've got Scott from Axe Overland has popped in to see us. So we're gonna take you on a quick walk around of his Jeep Wrangler JKU. So guys, this is Scott from Axe Overland. So yep. you want to check out his channel, I'm going to put a link in the description below and I'm going to put it along the bottom of the screen now. So if you're into Jeeps, uh, and to be honest, I don't know a great deal about them, so I'm going to ask Scott basically what he's done with his car or truck so far. Can I call it a truck or do you call it a Jeep? Jeep. Because we get offended if we get it called Jeep. Yeah, so. car, car's the bad word. Car's no, the bad word. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so yeah, Scott, take us around. What have you done? Because this thing is uh, awesome. Oh, thanks. Well, thanks, uh, Chris. The, this is a 2009 uh, Jeep JKU Sahara. Right. I bought it as completely stock, basically. It's diesel, and for us watching in America, it's right-hand drive. So that was one of the things I've really wanted over here is a right-hand drive. Yeah. So found it, and it's a diesel, which we can't get in America yet, so I'm happy to have that. Yeah. yeah. But like I said, bog stock when I got it, and uh, it lasted six days that way. Right. I just had it. I know, because, yeah, it. I saw the photos of it yeah. originally, and it is very different, and yeah. much bigger than it was when it started. Uh, luckily, uh, Alex from Buzz Special Vehicles, I uh, got in contact with him as soon as I started looking, so we kind of had a plan set in place. So when yeah. I got it, and I was ready, here you go. They um, they went ahead and done 35-inch uh, tires yeah. on 17-inch wheels, AEV wheels, uh, BFG, KM3, uh, mud train tires. AEV snorkel, uh, AEV three and a half inch lift. Uh, we ended up putting AEV roof rack, AEV tire carrier, and fuel caddy on there. Yeah. So I love the AEV stuff, and Buzz Special Vehicles keeps it in stock, so I can get a whim and be like, "Hey, I need a fuel caddy. Run down there and grab it." And yeah. I can install it myself. Yeah. Or he's installed a lot of this stuff. So like yeah, I said, yeah. the lift, the wheels, tires, snorkel, and the tire caddy. He's yeah. done all that. Yeah. Yeah, so, so and all the videos pretty much everything you've done are yeah. on your channel, aren't they? Yeah. So even go home and check them. Yeah. But it does look awesome. I mean, it Thank is you. a monster truck. <laughs> um, we're looking forward to taking them out and maybe scratching it. Oh, it's, yeah, I've already started. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some of the trips you've done. So, um, yeah, no, it's a cracking piece of kit. Any plans for the future? What else can oh, I do to it? Oh, so many. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's got, one How long is a piece of string? The, yeah. Um, but yeah, for this, immediately rooftop tent. That's uh, one of the first things. And watching your video actually has gave me a good idea. Yeah. Between that, I'm definitely talking with uh, Dar and Lucy about what I'm going to get. Yeah. So still undecided, but it's probably going to happen soon, yeah. as well as an awning. So I'm looking at a 270 awning for it as well. Yeah, so yeah. I can just get out there and stay out there. That's yeah. the plan. So. Yeah, I think because Paul's uh, got a 270 awning coming. So again, we'll do a review yeah. on that. But of course, pop down and check it out and see how yeah, it is. Absolutely. Um, that's coming from Tough Trek, isn't it? Yeah. As far as I'm aware. Um, yeah, but check out Tough Trek guys. You know, you know we we uh, like their stuff. I know Dar's got a lot of new stuff coming um, in the near future. Uh, anything else you want to do? Um, well, I've got the the vector bar in there that I put it on the dash bar, and it's basically gave me ability to mount gadgets and, and weird stuff across yeah. the dash as needed. And and with the uh, like, uh, what's it called? The Trailwise or the OS maps. It's nice to have that over on the side on the yeah. iPad or something so when you're driving you can stay on the trail and not end up in someone's property so yeah, yeah. that's been handy and uh taking the rear seat out the rear 60 percent seat so the bigger seats out left a small one in there just in case yeah but the 60s out and then i'm going to basically ply line it flat and then that way i can start putting the fridge in and stuff like yeah, that and just yeah. getting getting it ready again like i yeah. said to go out so yeah i so said one thing we struggle with i think with the guards the dashboard is you end up with so much stuff stuck yeah. on the screen and here and everything yeah. that, you know we don't have anything there's no kind of accessory that i know of um that works like right. the one that you've got um, yeah. so again we'll probably have to fabric or something yeah, to get right exactly. to stick it on there but the idea of how it works yeah. and how it could work and that's one good thing about is about the jeeps there's so many aftermarket yeah. products out there so it's kind of easy to get in there and get it done like um I was telling Paul earlier, one of the things I really want to do is a dual battery setup, and I was yeah. looking at Genesis, and uh, Genesis says, we do one for right-hand drive Jeep. I'm like, sweet. Like, we do one for a diesel as well. I'm like, awesome. We don't do it for both. 
Right. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get creative. Yeah. Um, I bought a gold, uh, a gold zero Yeti. It's a 400 watt hour like convert inverter type thing. So I'll use that and see how that goes. But eventually, I want to do the dual battery. Yeah. So yeah. that'd be one of the other ones that's coming up soon, probably. Yeah. Cool. Any plans for any trips? Uh, yeah, Belgium actually. I'm going heading over that way in August. We're doing. I do remote control trucks. Yeah. So we make them look like real trucks, working winches, all that. Cool. So we're going over there for an event, and we're going to take the Jeep as well. So yeah. we're going to go over and, and live in Belgium for a, a few days. Yeah, and yeah. do some trails with the both trucks hopefully yeah <laughs> cool awesome dude brilliant yeah. good speech here guys Thanks, check out his channel on axe overland uh, you've got the other one on the radio control cast which is quite smart I'll yeah the ace of axe one yeah yeah well stick that link in the description as well yeah so uh, yeah if you're interested in jeeps guys go and check out scott's channel it's fantastic cheers